Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video, we are going to be making another horror baby, but this time we're going to be doing Freddy Krueger. Um, I was asked if I could do this video, so that's what we're going to be doing and I'm going to go ahead and give you a list of the supplies that we are going to be using for the video. So first you're going to need one of the little babies from Dollar Tree. Um, you're going to need a doll. Um, you're going to need red and black spray paint. You're going to be needing tissue. You're going to be needing scissors. Um, you're going to be needing, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but uh, Mod Posh. I don't know how you pronounce it, but you're going to need this. Um, you're going to need hot glue, and um, you're going to need some paint brushes, and um, you're also going to be needing, um, we're going to be using tomato red paint, and this is what we're going to be using on his face to make it look like he's been burnt. Um, also, you're going to be needing a little paper hat that you can get at um, Walmart, I'm not sure how much they are, um, how much I paid for them, but they're in the party section. And this is what it start off looking like. It's just a little, um, hat. This is what it looked like on the inside. And I took that hat and I painted it black already. So this is what mine's look like. And I went ahead and painted mine so it would be dry on camera so I can go ahead and put it all together. Um, and that's about it. I am going to go ahead now and turn my camera down so we could just get into the video. Okay. So I got my camera turned down. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is what I did to prep my baby to be painted. So as you know, Freddy Krueger's pants is black. And his shirt is like red and green Christmassy colors or something like that. So what I did was I started off with my baby. And then I took... Let me grab this. And I took some um, tape. And I'm just going to tear it down. So basically what, what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape and you're going to tear it and you're just going to go ahead and you're going to tape around to separate the top from the bottom. So you're going to wrap it around like this and then you're going to spray paint. the. And what I did was I wrapped my top half in plastic. That way I wouldn't get no paint on it. And once you do that, you're going to spray paint the bottom black. And then you're going to go ahead and when that completely dries, you're going to paint the top of his shirt. After, when you spray paint that red, you're going to go ahead and use green paint to make the stripes. And I have one done right here. This is what it's going to look like when you um, paint yours. So it's going to start off like this. You're going to use the tape across like that. You're going to spray paint the legs black, and then you're just going to spray paint the top red and paint on your green stripes. And this is what I did with this one. So now that's done, and we're ready to move on to doing his face. So this is his face, and that's what we're going to start with now. So we're going to take our tissue. You're going to grab a paintbrush. Um... And we're going to grab our Mod Podge. And I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit in here. Because I don't need a lot. Just a little. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our Mod Podge. Or if I'm saying that wrong, please let me know how it's pronounced. And then we're just going to go ahead and just, just paint his face. You're just going to paint his whole face, ears, everything but don't paint the top of his head so you're just going to go ahead and just put some Mod Podge on and 
going to make sure you get around his eyes, his lips, Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our toilet paper and I'm just going to separate it. So you're going to separate it in two like this and then we're just going to tear off little pieces and we're just going to go ahead and you're just going to randomly like pick where you want to put them on his face. And it does not have to be perfect we just go and randomly stick it on his face and then we're going to go over it again with some more Mod Podge so this is what you see me doing now is just taking it and I'm just randomly sticking it in different places and each time I've then made these they come out a little different it seems like every time I make something, it, it, it never comes out quite the same. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can relate to when you make stuff, how it comes out different the second time than it did the first time. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just um, tap this into place. Just gluing it, just using the um, the glue to just hold it down. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue to stick this in random places. So gonna just gonna so you just basically just kind of um sticking this in place and it does not have to be perfect. We just making it look like um how the skin has been burnt off his face. And I'm just going around his eye. It's like this. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. That Gonna grab a little more. Gonna go ahead and put a little bit on his nose. So we're gonna stick that there. And we're gonna go ahead and stick this on here. I want to put a little bit right there. Stick this here. I want to put a little more right under the chin. So we're just going to stick that right here. I'm going to get it off of the lips a bit. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to try to get it so y'all can see. So this is what it looks like. Let's try to do it this way. Like this. And know it's hard to see, but basically all you're doing is just covering him in my Podge and just randomly sticking the tissue paper in different places and there's no set amount of tissue paper you just use as much or as little as you want it does not have to look exactly like mine's um you just make it your own you just add as much as little you just do what makes you happy because remember nobody's is going to come out exactly the same this is my second time doing this, and um, 
like I said in my previous video, this was something that's out of, a little bit out of my comfort zone because I don't normally do um, like Halloween dolls like this. Um, someone asked me and I gave it a try because when my subscribers and my YouTube family is what I call you guys, when y'all ask me to do something, I, um, I try to come through for y'all. Because y'all are the reasons why I do the videos. If you wasn't watching them, you know, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. It means a lot. So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish sticking this just a, and I'm done with this part. I'm not going to add any more. Now what I would normally do is let this dry completely before I add my um, my color to it to make it look to give it the burn color now I would normally let this dry all the way but I being a video I'm filming a video I can't really take the time out to let this completely dry so I am just gonna go ahead and Go ahead and paint the color on and then let's let it dry all together. So once you do that part, you would come in and I have my tomato red right here. And we're just going to go ahead and take our red and we're just going to put this on. And I'm going to put this on and also dab it around. So I am going to grab a little bit more of this red, stick this down off in there, just like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and just randomly put this on in different places. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just going ahead taking my red and putting it around and this is going to represent the burns on his on his face So this is basically what you see me do now is just add, I'm just adding a little bit of this red around here. And I'm tapping my finger as I go. And you can make the whole head, his whole head look burnt if you would like to. But since we're going to put on a hat, that part's not really needed. It doesn't need to be around the whole head. And I am going to grab my Mod Podge because I missed one of his ears. So we're going to grab this and I'm just going to add a little bit right here, a little more Mod Podge and I'm going to add a little a piece of tissue and then we're just going to Mod Podge this down and it's okay if that turns pink because we're going to go over it uh, a little more and that's what happens when you mix red in white together you get pink so now I'm just gonna tap it here just like this so now that I got that on gonna go ahead and go under here a bit gonna go ahead
ahead and do this around his eye. And I want some of that pink to show through. So we're going to take our tissue and then we're just going to dap it a bit. Going to go in. And I'm leaving some of the white exposed to where it's starting to uh, heal, where his burns look like they may have been starting to heal. And this is what you're going to get. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead again. I'm going to take some paper towel. And I'm just going to go ahead and blot it a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit in the back also just around this area here. So just like this. Now we're going to grab a piece of that toilet paper. Once again, we're going to separate the two. like this. See if we can get this to separate. And now we're just going to go ahead, put this in the back in thin layers like this. Gonna add a little more. Gonna hold this here like that. Grab my Mod Posh a little more, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this in the back, kind of giving it like um a little um I'm roughing it up a bit to make it look like it's in patches. Like this. Grab my red. And we're just going to go over that. So this is what it's looking like. And we're just going to continue to go over it. And then uh, it'll totally have a different color once everything is completely dried. Right now, it's still wet. And I just wanted to go ahead and do this part because it needed to be done. But once it dries, um, it'll look a lot better once your colors dry. And if you make this at home, you would let yours dry before you um, add your... Um, your paint on top of your Mod Podge. You would want to make sure that is completely dry. And mine's, since mine's is not completely dry, anytime I move it, I kind of mess up where I, the parts that I just did. So, this is why I'm kind of trying to go over it again because, you know, like I said, when you do this part, when you do yours, you want to let yours dry before you move on to anything else. So I'm just adding more toilet paper or tissue paper in the spots that I've already done because I turned it over and I lost my little detail. But it's, it's fine. It's fixable. Now, just take my finger and pat that. 
and then we're going to go like this go in and I'm going to leave it at that and move this over and this is what you have and remember we are not going to um, do anything with the top of his head so now what we're going to do for um, his little um, his little a glove with the little knives is I took a plastic fork and I cut off the four ends so you got this so you want to take your fork and you want to cut off the um, the fork part which it started off like this it was a clear plastic fork and I went ahead and cut it in half and I cut off the little pieces and now what I'm gonna do is probably get this glue off my fingers which is fine now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my four I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue gun and I got the low temp and we're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna put some hot glue right on his hand And I didn't have an issue with it melting or anything. It probably would if you use a, a hot tip. So now what we did, we put the hot glue directly on his hand. And we're going to go in with our little fork pieces. And you want to separate them a bit. like this gonna go ahead and stick that on and we're gonna stick this one here just like that we're gonna spread them out a bit and this is what you're gonna have this is what it looks like and we're gonna uh, let that dry for a bit so now that we have our little hand his little knives glued to his hands what we're gonna do is we're going to take some silver and some brown paint and we're just going to use a little bit of the brown and what we're going to do is um, we're just going to go around and uh, tap this brown paint on because in the movie I do believe his glove is e on his hand is either brown or black I am not exactly a hundred percent sure on the color but um i feel like it's brown so i'm just lightly going over and doing um putting some brown on So I'm just going to add a little more brown to it. And um, it uh, this too will thicken up when it starts to dry. So now that I have that, I'm going to go in with my sieve, And we're going to go ahead and paint his little... Um, the little knives on his glove All right. so we're just gonna go ahead and paint his little knives And then I'll let that dry and then I'll put on a second coat which will make it a little bit more uh, noticeable but that's what how it looks now I'm gonna come back 
and we're going to do this hand. We're going to cover this hand in the um, Mod Podge. Or I'm, I'm thinking I'm saying that wrong. And uh, if I am, y'all know exactly what, what I'm talking about. We're just going to go ahead and um, stick this on. And we're just going to go around his whole hand. And now we're going to take some of that tissue. And we're going to go ahead and cover his hand because we got to have his hand burnt as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and lap this. Grab my glue. Stick this on. So it would look like this hand has been burnt also. And now we're going to take that same red and we're just going to go ahead and just lightly tap this on. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little more of this tissue because I want this one to stand out a little more. Now we're going to use a little bit of that red and I'm just going to take my finger and tap again and we're just going to go over it like this. Now let's move all of this stuff out of the way. Set this to the side. So this is what we have. Now the last thing we need to do is add his hat. And once again, uh, the paper hats came from Walmart. I'm not exactly sure how I, how much I paid for them, but I know they are. They have the little flowers and stuff on the uh, outside, and I just painted the whole thing black. And now the last thing we need to do is just set his hat on his head. And I am going to grab my paintbrush because I am not happy with the... I'm just going to go ahead and tap this a bit just to, so it's not as white. And it, and it looks like white on camera, but it's actually not that, not that white. But here he is. Here's our little baby Freddy. And once again, here he goes. And um, as I mentioned before, the colors are uh, set in a bit once it's dry. Uh, mine is still very wet. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera back up so y'all can see me. And um, here he is again. Here's our little baby Freddy. If you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family. And with that being said, thank you so, so much for taking the time out of my out of your day to watch one of my videos. If there is any type of video that you would love to see me try, please let me know in the comment box below because um, I'm, I'm trying to find out more of what you guys would like to see me do. So if y'all want to see me make any more types of baby horror dolls, let me know. Um, I'll, I'll definitely give it a try. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, once again, thank you so, so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.